Did you know you can have a sweet tooth and stay on track? Today I'm gonna to share low point candy that is gonna help you with that sweet tooth craving. The points may be a little bit different for you depending on your personal points, but I did use my Weight Watcher app and calculated each of the points for these treats. Mini Tootsie Rolls, you can get seven pieces for only three points. Mini Tootsie Pops for three pieces, it is four points. Junior Mints Minis, I didn't even know Junior Mints had a Minis, but for 21 pieces, it is three points. Hershey's Kisses, yum. Sometimes we put these in the stocking and they sink down into the toe of our stockings. I can have three pieces for four points. With Hershey's Kisses and most chocolate, if I just put it in my mouth and chomp it up really quickly and swallow it, I'm not getting that full satisfaction of the chocolate. So what I like to do is I put it in my mouth and I let it just melt and that helps me be able to get rid of that chocolate craving that I'm having and sometimes I can just do one piece instead of three pieces. I love peanut butter and for three pieces of Reese's Miniatures, it is seven points. For a Kit Kat snack size, it is four points for one. For the original sweet tarts, we can have 13 pieces of original sweet tarts for four points. I'm not a huge fan of Butterfinger, but I'm sure there are a lot of you that love Butterfinger, so I went ahead and figured this one out. You're welcome. For a fun size Butterfinger for one of them, it is four points. Fun size Twix, yum, caramely, crunchy cookie goodness. One bar is five points. Okay, I love Snickers. I love the peanuts in the Snickers. I love the caramel. I love the chocolate. Snickers definitely satisfies. <laughs> that commercial got it right when they put that out. So for a fun size Snickers, one of them is four points. 100 grand candy bar. I haven't had one of those in a very long time. And I remember on Father's Day, my brother went out and bought my dad a 100 grand candy bar and was like, here you go, dad, happy Father's Day. Here's 100 grand. <laughs> my dad loved it. But that started the love of 100 grand candy bars in our home. They are crispy and they're just really good. Now I want one. For one fun size 100 grand candy bar, it is six points. A snack size Mounds bar. Now, Jason always says he wishes that they would put the almond from the Almond Joy in the Mounds bar, which the Mounds has dark chocolate, and make it an almond dark chocolate Mounds Almond Joy type bar. And I was like, oh, that would be so good. But for one snack size Mounds bar, it is five points. Milky Way definitely will help with that sweet tooth craving. And for one fun size Milky Way, it is five points. For something that's non-chocolate, Airheads has bite size. We can get seven pieces for four points. In the fall, they come out with caramel apple suckers. Oh, I love those things. They are so good. It is a sour apple with a delicious caramel coating over the top of it. For one sucker, it is four points. And sometimes in the stores, you can find a variety pack of them. And I have tried every single one through the years and oh, those are so good. <laughs> Timothy's favorite candy is Mike and Ike's. Plus, it's a really good one for movie nights. We can get 10 pieces for four points. Smarties. Oh, this brings me back to my childhood. I remember getting a Smarties candy and carefully unwrapping those ends, putting the candy in my hand and eating one at a time. Oh, that's just childhood right there for me. So for one roll of Smarties, it's only two points. Not bad. Werther's Original Candies. These are so good. They have this buttery caramel flavor in Werther's, but over the years, Werther's has taken it to a whole nother level with candy. So I have quite a few here that I was looking at. The original hard candy, for three pieces, it's four points. But hang on a second, they got new stuff. They have a chewy caramel candy. It's called a cinnamon cream. Three pieces of those for five points. Or they have a Harvest Caramel Apple Soft Chewy Candy. Three pieces of those is four points. And then there's another soft chewy one and it is Maple Cream. Doesn't that sound delicious? 
Three pieces of those is five points. And then there is a Werther's apple filled hard candy. Two pieces is only three points. Nerds. Those are another childhood candy. I remember when those came out and how exciting it was to have the two colors and you can either eat just the grape, just the strawberry, or you can combine the nerds and enjoy them. <laughs> those were just full of sugar and delicious. <laughs> The Halloween boxes, for one box, it's three points. M&M's is another really good candy where you can put one piece in your mouth and let it just melt and it will take care of that chocolate craving that we sometimes get. For mini M&M's, an eighth of a cup, it doesn't sound like much, but if you poured mini M&M's into an eighth of a cup, I bet you it's quite a bit. It's six points or one pack of M&M's fun size is four points. So you get to choose on that one. Twizzlers, yum, that's another one I really like. Who am I kidding? I like all of these, I just like candy. <laughs> so Twizzlers has a Twizzler Bites and we can get 14 Twizzler Bites for four points. That is chewy goodness. All of these candies I was finding at Walmart or I was looking at walmart.com and amazon.com. All right, so now I went through all that candy and I started looking around and at Target, they have some no sugar candy, which made me very curious. So I started calculating those into my app to see how much we could get for how many points. Reese's has no sugar candy. I am comparing Reese's no sugar to the Reese's sugar. So Reese's no sugar, three pieces is only four points. With sugar, three pieces is seven points. It's a pretty good difference. Jolly Ranchers has no sugar candy. Four pieces of Jolly Ranchers no sugar is one point. No sugar York Peppermint Patty, those are so good. Makes me think of the commercial where they take a bite and then the frost comes out and then everything becomes frosty. <laughs> oh, I just love that commercial. We could have three pieces for five points. But the minis with sugar is one point a piece, and then the thins are four pieces for eight points. Hershey's no sugar, we could get two pieces for three points. So then I started thinking. Also at Target, they have a Lily's gummy bear and gummy worms. We could have a whole pouch of one of those for only three points. That would be a good movie night candy. The same with Smart Sweets. I've talked about these on my channel quite a bit. I really enjoy these Smart Sweets. You get one bag of Smart Sweets for either three to four points. They have quite a bit of a selection at Target or you can go online at Target. They also sell them on Amazon. At my home, I keep these on hand. So these are peach rings. These are really good. The sweet fish, they're almost similar to the Swedish fish, but these, I actually like the texture better on these. They're pretty good. They're one of my favorites. This one is my all time absolute favorite. This is Red Twist like Twizzlers. These are so good. Actually, the fish were my all time favorite until I had these and I was like, okay. <laughs> so between these two, I am a happy girl. But I didn't realize that Smart Sweets also has lollipops. And their lollipops, for one of them, is one point. And I also discovered that they have caramels too, which are six points for one bag. Now, if you don't want one of the mini candy bars and you want a full size candy bar, our best option would be to go with a protein bar. My favorite protein bars so far are the Built Bars. I really like the Sea Salt Built Bar, which I am planning on ordering those one day soon. But for now, in my home, I always keep the cherry one and the peanut butter one. These both have delicious chocolate on them. This is like a peanut buttery taste to it. They're both chewy and these definitely satisfy my candy bar craving. And they keep me fuller longer because they're protein. Another candy bar style treat for me is the Weight Watcher bars. They are only two points a piece. I always keep these on hand. This one is the chocolate peanut butter if you're craving basically a Reese's. They're not like a Reese's, so don't go in thinking like they are, but they do help with that craving of that peanut butter and chocolate craving that we get sometimes. 
two points, I can't beat it. The chocolate caramel is really good. It's chewy and it helps with that caramel chocolatey craving that we can sometimes have. This one is a chocolate pretzel. This reminds me of the Take 5 candy bar because you have pretzel pieces that are going throughout the candy bar. These are really good. Actually, they're all really good. Two points, delicious. And if you're having a super chocolate craving, like you need chocolate now, this is a triple decker chocolate candy bar by Weight Watchers. This is really good. And then they have more to choose from on their website, which I will have linked below. I hope this helps you to stay on track with the seasons that are just ahead. I mean, we have Halloween candy, Christmas goodies are coming out, Thanksgiving. For the next few months, it's basically eating. But we can have our cake, or candy and eat it too. Just being smart, watching our points, figuring things out will definitely set us up for success during this upcoming holiday season. Do you need more successful products to keep you on track? Don't worry, I have some right here. Just click on the video. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.